Let's introduce the band. George, I'm Andrew. We had a number one album, we had a string of hit singles, and we were selling out arenas. How can the country be in love with these two idiots? <laughs> we met when I was 11 and Andrew was 12. And there was only ever one thing that I wanted to do. You get so be in a band with George. Andrew changed my life in exactly the way someone needed to change my life if I was going to be a pop star. And that was it. Wham! I mean, your record has been slagged in the press. <laughs> slagged, yeah. It knocked George. People weren't taking him seriously as a songwriter. Pop became a very dirty word. Whilst I was happy being in a band, George needed more. I never felt that our music defined me in the same way that it did for George. As a young gay man, I was just uncomfortable because I was closeted. For George, chart position was the ultimate validation. I was forging an identity through my success, and by necessity, I went with full gusto into the progression of Wham. You're so gorgeous. I know. Next thing you know. With Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. Wham Mania had arrived. It's Wham. Wake me up before you go go. Believe me, hey, you don't like the yo yo. Wake me up before you go go. I don't want to miss it when you hit that high. Wake me up before you go go. When I was with Andrew, we were absolutely determined to have a fantastic time. Wake me up before you We were living in the moment. The success was so much more than I had ever dreamed of. And with your best mate. It was just absolutely magical. Yeah!